Last week, I shared the mistakes I've made when hiring a friend. Something that I didn't mention and that I think that would be like super helpful is why hiring based on values is super important. When I started like uh, our company about like four years ago, I just saw that values were just like bullshit and keyword that big companies would put out there just so they can pretend that they are doing something amazing for the planet when actually like they are not and it's all bullshit. But the truth is down the line, I realized that if people don't have the exact same values as you have, then it's not gonna work out. And whenever you're hiring people, especially in a startup and even more if you have a fast growing startup, then your values matters. But the thing is like values should be super clear and simple to understand. If you don't know me, my name is Guillaume Moubesh and I'm the CEO of Flampire, a company valued at $150 million. I have nothing to sell you. And today I really want to share some of the mistakes I've made when it comes to like values, how to define them, how to make sure that you're hiring the right person for your team so you can scale, level up and build an awesome business. If you're new here, this is a channel where I share tips for entrepreneurs about startup marketing and growth. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button if that's not the case. As you're growing, you want to be sure that you trust the people to do the thing that you were doing in the past. For Vianney, Francois and me, when we started, I was handling the business side of things and Vianney and Francois were handling the tech part. So down the line, it means that whenever you're going to hire someone, you want them to do a better job than you were doing or at least the same quality of the job. And for that, you need to be sure that you can trust them. But for you to be able to trust someone, you need to have the same values. Because the truth is like, whenever your values differ from someone, then they might take actions on specific things that will not make sense for you. It will create confusion. It will create people that don't get on well with each other. And it will create like basically a lot of fuss for nothing. One of the biggest mistakes we've made when we first defined our value was that we defined too many values. I think we had six back in the days. And I was like, first things first, no one could remember them. And when people can't remember your values, it's usually that it's not a good sign. Even us actually, as founders sometimes we're like okay what the fuck what are our values again <laughs> the magic number after like kind of like testing it came down to three three values the truth is like why values are so important it's so important because whenever you're going to be on interviews or if someone from your team decide to hire someone without having like your approval for it as you're scaling it makes sense you want to know that they've been hiring people based on the core values of your company because with these core values at least you know that you are on the same page about the person you're hiring and this is the best way to scale a business. So for example, at Empire we have three values. The first one is loyalty. Loyalty is really important because the way we built our company is like a family. We want people to be able to help each other, be like super loyal with the project, that they consider the project as if it was their own baby and they should consider their team as like their family. And what's really like make family stick together is loyalty. You know, when, uh, when shit happens and you were within your family, you know you can count on them no matter the lows, no matter the highs, you know that you'll be able to share that with your family and that's kind of like the spirit we want to have with this one core value that is loyalty. The second part is about like getting shit done. This one is also like extremely important. We were only like uh, five people when we reached 1 million in annual recurring revenue with our software. When usually to reach that goal, like VC backed startup, for example, there would already be a team of like 20, 30, 40, sometimes 50 people. And we did that with essentially like 10 times less of people. And the truth is like, we love getting shit done. We don't want to hire people who are are just about a strategy and all these type of things. We want people who can actually implement and do all these things. A sentence that I like is lead by example. So I love to know that the manager or the people can actually create and do these things to show to others how it works and how to do it. I've seen in the past manager that were like great, but down the line when shit hit the fan, if your manager can't actually handle it himself, then the team don't actually respect their manager. They just think like, yeah, this guy is just words. He has actually never done it in the past. So how exactly can he expect us to do it if he can't do it by himself, etc, etc. And that's why for me getting shit done is like super important. As you can see, like right now, even though like I'm the CEO of the company, I've got like hundreds of things uh, to do. I still post on LinkedIn. I still post on Twitter. I still like record YouTube video. I still like write articles when it comes to like marketing. I can do sales. I can do like all these things that are important because the truth is like the more I do, the more, you know, like I show people 
people that it's okay to fail, that it's okay like uh, not to be like the best at doing it, but at least what is important is about shipping. Get that thing done. The more you get shit done, the more you're gonna improve, which come down to a third value, which is continuous optimization. I think that anything you do can be, you know, like improve, can be better, but for that, you need to keep in mind that you need to optimize things. And for us, it's something that we always look at. First, we get shit done. We get shit done fast. We try to like ship articles, uh, posts or anything like we do it. Once it's done, this is when you want to optimize. And the more you're gonna optimize things, the better you'll get at it. And this is where you can really do like stellar work. And that's what we want to have at our company. Another friend entrepreneur recently asked me, you know, like hiring with values sound a bit like bullshit. Like how exactly do you make sure that people are aligned with your values? So let's take like the get shit done value, for example. How do you make sure during an interview that someone can get shit done? First, I think there are like several things. The first thing is ask people what project they've been working on. And then you ask them in details what they've done exactly. How much time did it take them to go from like the first step to the second step? Like how much time does it take you to publish an article? How much time does it take you to write a post? How much time does it... And then you dig in, you know, like how much posts can you make in two weeks, three weeks, etc., etc. And then even though people can bullshit you during an interview, what we always do is a test. Every time you do a test with someone, please make sure that they respect a specific time frame. Most people, whenever they send tests, they always forget about the time frame, which I think is like the biggest mistake ever. So you're gonna say something. For example, let's say that your test should be done in only two hours. Okay, so what you should ask the person is like, okay, I'm gonna send you a test that takes only two hours to make. So please let me know by replying to this email when you'll be free to start the test. I will send you at that specific time and then within two hours, you will have to send it back to me. And the idea when you do that is that you are sure that for a specific time frame, you can actually see the output of what the person can do. Because the thing with tests is that most people, if they are like not really good, etc., but motivated, they're gonna spend like five days to create like the best thing possible they're gonna ask all their friends to look at it or even like help them etc and then you're gonna look at the test you're gonna say oh that looks really good actually and yes you're gonna be able to spot motivated person but you will not be able to really like spot the top performer and that gives you a great way to really compare different candidates by mixing question that match your values and also like a test during the interview that's usually the best way to start scaling your team and level up and grow as a startup. Let me know in the comments if you have any question and I'll see you next week. Take care. Ah, ça va être grave stylé. Ça va être grave stylé. Grave stylé.